Welcome back to the channel, Dreamers. I'm your host, Brian Cohn on Pipe Dream Gaming. And today, we got draft. This draft, uh, we didn't have a great one. We did go three and three, which, if you think about it, isn't too bad. But the issue was, we just didn't get those big heavy hitters. Maybe it was my deck building skills. I'm gonna go ahead and show the deck to you really, really quick. And I want you to tell me how you would have done this draft. How you would have done the things that you did. This is a quick view of it. The only car that I was kind of eh about, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't, was this Sunset Revelry. I know it's a great card in certain matchups, especially when you're on the play. But if you look in here, yeah, we didn't have a lot of good things. And I want you guys to tell me what you would have done. See you guys next time. Bye. Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of hard. I mean, it's hard to get away from a rare. Honestly, and it is a pretty good rare. Yeah, I will go rare. Didn't see anything that was broken. Oh, hey, Marty. That's cool. Uh, what's your uh, name over here? Mm. So you're trying to cheat, right? <laughs> Mm. Right now we're sitting in blue. Storm of the Festival is not the greatest. Mm. It isn't the greatest rare in this. really don't like that car, but this is, like, we can make it into a flyer. I mean, we could go black. I mean, it goes along with our thing. I think these are both going to come back to us. So let's get the flyer, because I think more people want that. Hmm. Locked in the cage is pretty good. Don't have any werewolves, so that's not great. You can get stuff out of exile, right? Only if it has flashback, which we don't have much of. So I guess the removal is gonna be good. Hmm. Kevin. Kevin isn't great, but I think it's probably the best card out of all of these. Because I think we can get up to that three. Hey Marty, uh, uh, did you get a pre-release code yet? Some good card draw, I think. We just get the card draw? Or should we go for more of a coven? Yeah, let's go with that. It's more of a tempo play. But, uh, yeah, Marty. If you didn't know, I have some pre-release codes. Uh, it gets you free, uh, six free packs if you haven't used one. You can only use one a uh, uh, one total. Okay. Not great in our hand. 
That could be good depending on what we're up against. We'll go with that. Delver of Secrets, not really great in ours. I think we're gonna either gonna go this way or this way. What's our creature count looking at? Basically even. Either way we get a creature. Hmm. That's basically getting two creatures that gets removed, but this can't be blocked. With toughness four or greater. Well, we'll just get another Griff. Ooh, Sunset Revelry. That is an amazing card. Yeah, got a lot of blue. That's actually pretty good. That's card draw. Now yeah, we'll do it this way. Now it's Coven, so that could possibly go into our deck. We choose another green. Another Coven card. That makes that easy. Ooh, what do we got here? Hmm. Kind of like that. It's kind of hard to get away from a mythic. <coughs> that goes along with our stuff there, so we're taking that. Just realized we didn't have any other black cards. Oh, well. I mean, it is a mythic, so I'm not complaining. Hmm. We're having a lot of disturbed people here. Actually pretty good. Just gotta remember it's a sorcery. It'd be good. I don't have a lot of instants or sorceries. It's a pretty good way of getting around. And that's going to be good for the deck that we have. So we're keeping it. Ah, oh, it's such a good card. Too bad we're not in red. Um, yeah, it's a thing. I think this guy, I don't know if that's you, Martin, or Marty, but Eli is taking all the turns. I think he uh, disconnected. Which sucks, it's going to make this a lot longer than it should be. Oh, it looks like he came back alive. Yeah. No. Better not green red. That can be really good. So it's between this. I think we'll go ahead. I think we're going for more of a tempo. I mean, we need to get something big here, though. Right now, that's our biggest card. And we have to have exactly 13 life. Okay, let's see. What do we got? No black. Minimum green. Flash flying. Actually, pretty good. 
I think we'll go... Flesh Flying is pretty good. Oh, look at that, we got one of those. Okay, there's one of our big guys. Doesn't keep people tapped down. So we'll go with that. Hmm, I guess we'll go with you. Okay, I got this larder zombie. But we do have the card draw. I think we'll go with this one. Hmm. Ramble armor is pretty good. Got two of them now. The overseer. Probably going to get cut. <laughs> of course, it would give us a black red land. Okay, what do we else we got here? So basically, do we want to go flyer or pos or pseudo card draw? And we'll go with this one. First strike. Double strike. I do like this reverie. It's kind of, I think it's actually going to be pretty good because it is removal. Hmm. Not great. Flash flying 3 3 or a griffin. Disturb for flying vigilance ain't bad. It's life gain, which does go into more of our things. But I think we're gonna go with this itty bitty guy. Not great. Let's see why it made it all the way to us. Consider as though it's really good. That ain't bad. Goes along with our coven build. But the switch is really good though. Oh well. I don't like that card. Uh, some more removal, somewhat. So we'll take it. Can't be too picky. That actually could be good in ours. Let's see, what's our. I mean, we're looking pretty good either way. Dang it, didn't have much set. Okay. Uh, more card draw. Do we have enough? What's our curve looking like? Yeah, we'll take it. Is that locked in the cemetery? Yeah, this guy is holding on to everything now. Hmm. I think we're still going to go with the Sunset Revelry. If 
Flash flying, I'll take it. Basically our only pick. And we'll throw you. Well, I always take out one land. So we have 11 cards we need to get rid of. Our high end isn't great. So Yeah, our draft didn't go great. I think we can make something out of it. But I'm not exactly sure what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, it didn't go great. I'm going to get that out. That one's pretty good. Probably go down one. Okay. For my removal over here. Mm, we did get a mythic out of our one of our packs, but it was black. And I just didn't find any good black cards to go along with everything else we're doing. So we're trying to do a... Uh... Okay, this is card draw. Card draw. Buff. Tap. Mm, this is removal. I don't know. We'll see what we can make it. There's a lot of people playing white-blue this time. It really was not wide open. It's a way to get back into the game if we can. Kind of like this card, we'll keep them in. And then we'll keep it. I'm not liking that one. Some good card draw. We do not need four of these. How'd I get four? We're gonna go down to. I think we'll get that one out because we have other ways to tap it down. Got to get four more out of here. I think we'll get... Do I want to get all three out? Or is Sunset Revelry not good enough? We got plenty of card draw. We got three pseudo removals. We got a way to get one of theirs. So that's a pseudo removal. So we got the, our pseudo removal. I think because this is flash flying, it's going to be a little bit better. Don't have anything big, so we got to keep everything over here. I don't, we'll try this one. Bad feeling on this. We just don't have anything big, so we do have to do more of a control. We'll keep seven. Because we do have our card draw. We got our coven. We'll show them what's up. It's only one damage. It's more about the power draw. Mm. Shouldn't we have gained one life? So 
So next turn, we can get down our Sanctifier. We'll give this guy a lifelink. And then we can... Okay, apparently we're not doing that now. Or are we? Do we have any Coven cards? We'll just say no attacks. We have no can of, uh, of them right now, but... have three cards in their graveyard this will make it four we can flash this guy in let it become night true they only lose one life resolve resolve you go to graveyard we are going to have a lot of flash flying. Question is, are you going to attack in? Are you going to do anything? Okay. It sucks a little bit, but I'm not too complaining about it. Interesting. Flash you in. It is technically still night. Let's get our flyers on. I hope you had a good draft, uh, Marty. Draws two cards and loses two life. I definitely don't have any instance. Yeah. So how about we just get this on here? Player land for turn. Swing in for six. And we win! <laughs> Can't complain about that one. Okay. Got a one. We go first. So that means the Sunset Revelry is going to be probably pretty good. Got card draw. We got everything. I'm keeping it. Because we do have a really good curve. Really good curve. Let's see if they kill it. I thought about it.
Hmm. Yeah, the Sunset Rebel is not looking as great right now as it could be. Okay. So we don't want it to become night. Hmm. We'll just attack in with you. Now we'll attack in with both. Because again, we don't want it to become night. Because this thing gets a lot worse if it's night. Next. Okay. See what they do. So it's definitely not becoming night. We have to mill two cards. Which cards are we going to mill? I mean, it's going to be the Sunset River in the land. Let's face it. Because this is a card draw. I keep seeing something weird out of the corner of my eye. It's freaking me out. I don't know what it is. Are you going to sacrifice him to kill one of my guys? I don't know what you're doing, man. I yeah, figured. I'm going to tap you down. What we're going to do is that we actually are going to allow it to become night. We can tap it down anyway. So I'm not too worried. That is a problem. Let's go ahead and get our card draw on. Yeah, they only have two in there. Because we need to have, what is it, five? Five or more cards. Oh, five in the mine. Hmm. That changes things. I mean, it doesn't really matter. 
Because we can tap him down with this guy, put this, and then he's locked down forever. Unless they do that. Just need one boar in our graveyard. No blocks. You get one more card in our graveyard. How are we going to do that? Yeah, that's how we're going to do that. Uh, so, let's see, what are we going to do? It has double strike. We can make it so that way this can't kill it. We'll kill it, tap down one of their other creatures. We keep this back. Nah. <clears throat> they know this is a trade. So I don't see them doing that because I will blow them out completely. But six damage is a lot to take, so I think they're just going to block this guy. They're thinking about it. Maybe they have a trick. Oh, well, we do too. And let's see. Which one's more which one's worse? That guy's basically done. This can become a 3-5. So now we don't have to worry about it being night. And we would be winning on the race. I think I did that wrong. Hmm. We'll tack in with one of the zombies. That way we can keep our coven up. Give it to him. Swing in with these three. Ow! Yeah. Feel sorry for him. I think he just got mana flooded there at the end. It happens. It happens. Because if you don't have coffee, you're not going to win. It's a matter of fact. Wow. Um, no. 
Much better. I'm never going to understand Coven. We're going to keep six. Yeah, that is a four drop. But we do have Sunset Revelry. Yeah, we'll get nothing from it, so no reason to cast it. Mm. That's pretty dang good. Mm, I may take that next turn. And then we just won't let it ever let it transform. Does he have a counter? That's the question. Good turn for him. Complete blowout. Complete blowout on that. So that revelry is going to help us out. Unless they counter this one as well. Man, they had a really good hand though. I know this is going to be a blowout. Okay, for some reason they didn't have something to save him. I think they just wanted to draw the card, I guess. Mm. Wolfies! Open up your eyes. Thank you. Boring, boring, boring. Wow. Draw three cards. Not bad, actually. Do I want to keep him back to block? Am I going to use him to block? Nope. This is what happens when you run out of coffee chat. Like, this is my last sip. Hmm. Do they run out of spells? I don't think they did. I mean, their build, they, their build is really... Wow, what the heck? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
I, I, I still don't understand Coven. <sighs> no attacks. Will I ever understand Coven? I don't think I will. Okay, they're trying to draw a card. And now they're just passing. I think I would have sacrificed that guy. Oh no, they got their three tokens. Hmm. Beginning of upkeep. So we're going to be in trouble here really quick. But do we want it to become knight? I think we want to use this guy to block. And have it become night. Because we're in trouble. That is a really good card that they got. And they have a lot of stuff to go with it. Okay. First off, flash we in. Use this guy to block. Block. Or do we want? Okay. So right now, three, six, that's ten damage. Two through the air. Let's go ahead and absorb the four. Because he's not doing much anyway. as well. Oh, they have a zombie down there. You in the graveyard. Hmm. So it's already day. Set down one of these creatures. Get him six through the air. Might as well get this out. He'll be one of our blockers. So one, two. Yeah, so one, two. Block, block, block. One, two, three, four. <coughs> One, two, three, four. Then we can block everything else. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have to block. Because we need to start working on this guy. For some reason, I don't know like how Coven works.
do have some uh, ways of getting this. How's it going, Coon? I see you in there. Got to figure a way out. All right, now we have seven damage through the air. Second with four, we can block three. Hmm. Mm, this is. Mm. Yeah, that's a tough one. Okay. So I think they sniffed the startle. Okay. If we do it this way, we take six. Makes that easy. Okay, we do have life link. So right now they can block four, but none through the air. So seven's going through the air, and they have to block all of these. Or you could just do six, keep back one, two, three, four, five blockers. One, two, three, four, five. I th think we have to attack in with him just to get that life gain going on. So should we keep back one of these? Oh, I should have attacked in with him. Yeah, drain me for one. I gain three life. Draw a card, go down one. So they got three attackers. I don't know, this is a close one. It's a good game. Mm. Come on, wake up all these. Break them up. It's a tough one. Question is, did we win? They have to figure out how to do five, like basically five damage with this, with only to be able to attack with two creatures. Now we could counter this, but they just pay it and it would still die and then we lose him. 
So that means we allow it to die. Hey, kitty cat. Okay. So as of right now, they can't kill us. Kitty, I, I love you too. You're in the way. Oy. And he's in a really good game. Hmm. Even if we do this, we'll still have four creatures. Do I want to? I don't think I can. Well, they can't block this four through the air. These would all die. Like, even if they blocked them all, they would all die. Man, I hate being a blocker. Hmm. They can still buff that guy up. If they buff that guy up, we're dead. So we have to block. Do we want to block with a flyer? <clears throat> or do we want to block with this one? I think we blocked that. Well, no, he would just use that to... Still do us. Gotta be able to figure it out. Wish this thing had flash. Okay. So this thing can't block. So that means if we attack all in, they'll take four damage. We'll be going down to five. So number one, dang it. Just because I didn't attack with that one. Might as well attack in with him and hope we can uh, live to survive another turn. Because he can't attack anyway. So all we have to do is prevent four damage. Ooh, this is a good game. I know I messed up. If I would have swung in with the uh, other Zombo, uh, would have been a lot better. And I think we're dead. Yeah, that was one spell. Okay, we're not dead dead. But we do have to block these over here. Which means that we're going to lose... Basically have to double... Oh, this is so hard. Ah, this is such a good game. Uh, good game. I messed up on one, and that's what lost it for us. Mm. 
Uh, live and learn, I guess. Live and learn. What do we got next? Okay, we got our removal up. I gotta figure out what I'm missing on Coven. Maybe this guy doesn't have any powers and so he doesn't count for Coven? I don't know. I'm gonna have to research that later. It's actually probably a good uh, candle trap on that guy. There's a death touch is really, really bad. And now he's just a blocker. I can't do damage, can't have death touch, nothing like that. Well, we are having plenty of mana node problems. That's a tribal. Interesting. He's a good guy to get out there. I don't mind if he dies. So we'll go ahead and swing in. That touch does not work great against a dual crafter trainer because of the first strike. We do have the uh, grafted identity, so we can take one of their creatures. Mm. Yeah, just don't let it make night, and we're fine. I don't think you know how first strike works. Hmm. Okay. Will this work? No, it will not. I'm glad that they're taking the damage. With this crafted identity behind, we can take something really nice from them. Okay, that turns into a 5-5. Five, five. So we're going to go ahead and take that. I'll take 5 damage, I don't care. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Great. So we can we'll target our own creature. Yep. We'll take your guy. Sacrifice him. Give him double strike. He gains life link. And we swing in. And there we go. You're dead. You're still dead. You're dead anyway, man. Good game. Good game, opponent. Sorry, we just had the nuts on that one. It happens. I feel bad for you.